For centuries, the engineering and construction industry has been male dominated. But back in 1946, C.H. Stoom Hill's founders had the foresight to establish a culture different than others of its day for an engineering and construction firm, a culture that would sow the seeds for the Women's Leadership Initiative at CH2M Hill. When I was studying civil engineering in the late 1970s, only 10% of college engineering and construction management degrees were awarded to women, and women made up only 2% of the workforce. Today, women account for about 10% of the workforce. In the U.S., we've seen that fewer people overall, both male and female, are pursuing engineering and science degrees. And in that shrinking engineering talent pool, women are substantially underrepresented. So we're truly in a race for talent. We've been working at placing women at all levels of our company. Women do very well in this traditionally male-dominated industry, and tapping into their talents, we believe, gives us a competitive edge. It's all about industry leadership and performance. We knew it would be hard to change and improve diversity in a male-dominated industry. We started at the local level with women's networks in our local offices. We grew the initiative to include a program of mentoring and training and expanded our learning activities to help women become strong leaders in all areas of our business. When our women's initiative started, women organized in offices and men were only occasionally involved. Today, men are clamoring to be a part of their women's meetings and it's just the way we do business now. We also develop policies and metrics that have had a lasting effect. For example, we implemented a policy that we have women and people of color as candidates for all of our management and hire openings. I was one of the first women and Hispanic engineers hired by CS Trim Hill more than 25 years ago. I have worked on fabulous projects and managed important assignments. At CH2M Hill, I've had the great fortune to be mentored and challenged by three senior executives. They sent me to London to figure out how to win and manage the London 2012 Olympics and to Panama to work with a great team widening the Panama Canal. Our CH2M Hill women know that it's our responsibility to not only mentor our own women, but to help the engineering and construction industry become more diverse. I can't even imagine what it was like for our senior women to work in this industry without similar role models. I take the lessons I learn and use them to be a better manager. I also realize it's my responsibility to be a good role model and mentor for women and people of color more junior than me. Well, CH2M Hill's corporate strategy is to build organizational strength and competitiveness through diversity. And Catalyst research and advocacy work has made a powerful contribution to our strategic success. So we're delighted that CH2M Hill's Women's Leadership Initiative is the first Catalyst Award winner in the engineering and construction industry.